hello welcome back to my channel welcome to my channel if you are new my name is becca my instagram is rjm fitness i'm a personal trainer nutrition coach class b bus driver we are shut down right now and i'm also a server i was also shut down so we're just chilling at home my son is napping i've been doing some work um i have a tumbler again so i've been trying to blog underneath of that and with that um instagram twitter tumblr everything will be in the description box below as well as you can get 20 percent off of coffee over cardi coffee over cardio with 20 macros and mascara so in today's video it'll be tracking your macros or tracking your calories versus meal plans and programs what is better is one better than the other and everything that goes back with that so when i coach people i coach through tracking macros and tracking your calories as i personally feel like i don't feel like it is better but i feel like it is more flexible and more sustainable in the long run tracking your macros and tracking your calories and your macros are your proteins carbs and fats that are all in the foods that we eat on a daily basis so and then calories is what is all in the food so a cheese slice may have like 70 calories nine grams of fat four grams of protein like one to two carbs something like that there are four calories in one gram of carbs four calories in one gram of protein and nine calories in one gram of fat so personally to me i feel like tracking your calories and tracking your macros is a lot more flexible and is a lot more sustainable in the long run you tend to learn a little bit more about nutrition and what is all in the foods that we eat on a daily basis because you are looking at the calories that is in what you are eating. You're looking at the nutrition labels and you're looking at exactly what is in something. So you may start to pick healthier options or what you thought was a good quality carbohydrate or a good quality fat source may not be the best. Um, that's just what i think i think it is better and i think it is more sustainable in the long run well i don't want to say it's better but i think it's more flexible and more sustainable in the long run because you really learn about what your body needs because as you lose weight and your body gets smaller as you drop fat your fat cells shrink and you lose all of that your body needs less energy so you need less calories to be able to fuel yourself to be able to function as well as as you progress on your journey and you are progressing with your calorie deficit your stomach does shrink so if your stomach starts like this by the time you hit your goal weight it's going to be much much smaller so it might be it'll be probably around this so it does shrink so you will feel fuller quicker on less food and tracking your macronutrients and tracking your calories helps you to really see how much you need for each stage of your body and if you're trying to get back up to a maintenance and really not gain any weight and really not gain any fat tracking again is good because you can do it slowly a lot more sustainably and you can really tailor it to yourself and you can play around with it and do more trial and error whereas meal plans and programs it's a one size like this is the meal plan this is the program this is what you're going to eat when you're going to eat it and these are the portion sizes for it and then with meal plans and programs things start to be taken away as you drop weight so your meal plan and your meal program will change by just having you eat less or just change the portion sizes instead of when you track macros or you track your calories you could then start doing intermittent fasting so you push your meals off 
later so you can still have those bigger meals and you don't have to necessarily eat five, six, seven times a day. You could have two big meals, three bigger meals, or you could have the smaller meals. You can have little snacks during the day because you are tracking everything. And you can, if you are that type of person and you need something structured, but you don't want a structured meal plan, you want the numbers so you can create your own plan that's more of things that you enjoy eating and things that you know will help to keep you on track and on track to your goals. You can take your macros and put everything into whatever tracking app you use, whether it's my I'm macros plus, lose it, or my fitness pal. You can really customize it and put everything in. Like if you want to have eggs oatmeal and a fruit for every breakfast go ahead and tailor that and with that you don't have to cut back necessarily your portions as you shrink you can change around your oatmeal you can start doing zotes whereas you do shredded zucchini with instead of half a cup of half a cup of oatmeal you might do a quarter cup of oatmeal or same with the cauliflower as when it's cooked in like that it's really not going to have much taste so it's still going to taste like oatmeal and then if you like having the same lunch and you know exactly like what the breakdowns are you can adjust it by changing the carb source so you have like a lower carb wrap bread whatever it is or switch it and start using lettuce wraps save your carbs for dinner you can really customize it and tailor it more so to you because those numbers are what your coach has calculated according to your height, your body weight, and your activity levels. Whereas meal plans are typically not super duper customized. They really can be. Meal plans really can be very, very customized if you have a coach that asks you about everything that you enjoy eating, everything that you like to eat, your allergies, things you do and don't like, and give you and give them an idea of what you eat on a daily basis. It can be a lot more customized, but a lot of times it is not 100% customized, and so you're just going to, you're not going to necessarily get a cookie cutter plan. Some coaches do just give out cookie cutter plans that you can buy and just go off of that. But it's, it won't ever be like 100% because your tastes are going to change. You might not, you may follow it for six to ten, for six to eight weeks, eight to 12 weeks. But then at that 12 week mark, you're like, I need to have something to infer and end. They may or may not want to change that. They may or may not want to adjust and swap out that food source because it's just easier. And then meal programs. And when I say meal programs, I'm talking about like the Nutrisystem, the Adkins, the Optavia, the Metafast, the Jenny Craig, the Berry Wise, you know, things like that, where it's the food is sent to you. Now you can pick and choose the food, but everything is sent to you and it's still very structured and you really can't, I don't want to say can't, but you really shouldn't deviate from that plan because then you're not going to see the results if you deviate from that plan. So meal plans and meal programs are a lot more restrictive, they're a lot less flexible and if you don't take care of your mental health it can cause either an eating disorder or a bad relationship with food. Now macros and calories can do the same thing. That's not what I'm saying. Like they don't, like they can still cause eating disorders and they can still cause bad relationships with food if you start restricting yourself with your numbers. But it tends to happen more so with meal plans and programs just because they are a lot more strict and restrictive. Now, meal plans and programs are great for people that are a very type A personality. They don't wanna have to think about their food. They want to basically be told what to eat, when, when to eat it, and how much. And that is good for people who are on the go, who don't have a lot of time to plan and prep. Um, it's where meal programs come in because the food is sent to your door. You go ahead and grab it out of your freezer. You make your shake, you grab your bars, you grab your microwavable stuff. 
and you're on your way where and then meal plans are also good for that because you can go ahead say on sundays you can make up all of your meats all of your carbs all your vegetables all of your fruits and make up everything for the week and same thing grab and go grab and go grab and go now if you like the more flexible thing and now if you are a type a personality but you want to be able to choose your own things that's where creating your own meal plan with macros comes in and you can create your own meal plan on a sunday use that for the entire week prep all your meals grab and go so now obviously if you're just a very go with the flow person you can go it's kind of simple just go with the flow you know choose have a different breakfast every day you can make it you can make everything the night before be like oh i feel like i want this today or i'm gonna have this tomorrow or i might want this on thursday you can just you can mix it up every day so personally for me there no one is better than the other it depends on the person like i know for me personally i do like my body responds very very well to meal programs and meal plans but personally for my own mental health i prefer to food journal listen to my body but i also prefer to track my macros and track my calories because i can be very very flexible i can do meal pl programs and meal plans for the short term but for the long term it's better for me to track my macros and then stop tracking my macros i track off and on just to see where i'm at um when i start any weight loss like i tracked i started tracking about like a week or so ago just to kind of see where i'm at and see when i need to stay in it so i can lose weight and lose fat so that's how i do it but i've also been doing this for a while so i just have to track for about like a couple days to a week and then i'm good to be on my own and i food journal because i for the most part eat the same thing every day um usually it's eggs a fruit and some carb or it's protein oats so i know exactly what is in both and then i try and keep all of my carb sources around the same amount so the calories end up being around the same amount so this is kind of what i do for me personally i thrive better off of the flexibility of the macros because i don't do well with feeling restricted in the long term i can follow me meal plan and meal program for eight to 12 weeks but after that 12 weeks i gotta i gotta have some flexibility but that's just me personally and it truly truly all depends on the person it depends on personalities and what everybody wants and what their typical schedules are like like for me i have a typical I have a very flexible schedule. I am a school bus driver. I've got a break in the middle of the day, but I'm also a server. So my schedule is very, very flexible because I work Monday through Friday. I've got the break in the middle of the day to make my lunch, make my snacks and everything. And then I've got that time to come home and make dinner before my son gets his bath and move him to bed. And then I just serve on Saturdays, sometimes Sundays, maybe one day during the week when everything is up and running and we're running as normal and we're doing our no normal everyday lives and we're not you know under any sort of quarantine or anything like that where we can't go and sit in a restaurant um so that it works very 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 well for me whereas if i had say like a full-time cedl job and i was like driving a truck or a flatbed or a straight truck or something like that or even a box truck where i work i go in i work at seven and i'm off at four or i go in at eight and i'm off at five if i had a job that was not as flexible like that then a meal plan or program would be great because then i can just grab and go grab and go grab and go grab and go and not really have to think about it but even then I probably would still choose to track just because that I can make I can make my meals depending on the day because like I said I try to keep everything even my lunches my dinners and my snacks around the same caloric intake and it really helps me to figure out and get in tune with my body but again everybody is different everything works for everyone else I I will coach mainly I will always push everybody in the direction of tracking macros and tracking calories but it truly depends on what somebody wants when they come to me for coaching 
if they want to do meal shakes for breakfast because they just they really don't want to eat but they know they but like they do but they don't they'd rather have like a shake or a smoothie first thing in the morning because they can drink it throughout the morning and not really have to worry about snacking and it sustains them for longer then i will point them in that direction again it depends on the person and what they come to me for but i will still point them in the direction of tracking your macros and tracking your calories um if they insist on no i want some sort of meal plan i will do a guided meal plan where i give them ideas and give them portions and amounts and say you can do something like this for meal one something like this for your next meal something like this for your snack snacks something like this for your dinner and if that works for them then they'll be happy and they go off and they come back being like hey that was great thanks but if they want something more strict being like no tell me what to eat for this this and this then i'll make it but it all comes i don't prefer to coach that way i prefer to coach with my macros and calories so i will be more apt to turn you away if you want a strict meal plan because i just don't want to feel like i'm just giving you something generic i like being very customized to people giving people customized numbers customized macros and customized calories so that's it for today's video it is completely up to you whether you track your macros track your calories or do meal plans or programs it's completely up to you it's up to what works better for you what works better in the long run not just the short term the short term and the long term and your schedules and just your day day by day thing and honestly your personality if you are more type a very very structured you might be more inclined to go the meal plan route if you're more go with the flow you may be more inclined to do my acros or you could be very type A, but be like, no, I want to be in control of what I eat and what I eat. And you might be more go with the flow, but be like, you know what, I don't really want to think about it. Just tell me what to eat. So that's it. Be sure to give me a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you on my next video. Bye.